Manners by Aliki. Manners. Some people have them. Some people don't. What a nice girl! Thank you. Some people have them. Some people have manners. Some people don't. What a blah 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 blah. Some people don't have manners. What are manners? Manners are the way people behave. Good manner. Manners are the way you treat others. Opening the door, and she said, "Thank you." Good manners make you nice. Good morning. They make others want to be with you. Hi, Max. So say hi when you see someone. With good manners, you are polite. Please. Have some. Offer something yummy to a friend, to your mom, to your dad. Please have some. You are thoughtful and considerate. That's what it means when you have good manners. I'll help. Manners. Manners are words and action that show others you care. What babies don't know? Babies are not born with manners. They do not know how to say please or thank you or I like my te- teddy or I'm sleepy. Babies cry for things because they can't talk. But babies grow into children and learn. They learn manners. So others will want them around. Nobody likes tantrums. Oh my goodness! Do you see that this little baby is throwing a fit? Outbursts, cry. Man, I don't like this food. Hmm. That's because babies, they don't know. How to use good manners? So you have to grow up to be good little children and learn. What should we do? Let's see. Greetings. How do we say hello to someone? How do you do? Good morning, Mrs. Lambros. Hello. Please come in. Please have a seat. Would you like a drink? It was a pleasure to meet you. Goodbye. It was nice to see you again. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. This is how you greet someone when you see them. Remember all the things we just read, and when it's time to say goodbye. Remember to say it was a pleasure to meet you. Goodbye, or just a simple goodbye will do. What Elena knows. Let's see. Let's look closely. She knows how to say please. May I lick the bowl? I promise to eat all my supper. Saying I promise to eat my dinner. Please. Goes a long way. For that, Elena will probably get a cookie too. Manners lesson number one. Aunt Bessie doesn't have to know everything. Let's pretend. Okay. Please sit down. Thank you. I'm Aunt Bessie. Ha ha. Don't laugh at people. That's not polite. I'm Aunt Betsy, and look what I cook for you. Mmm. What? 
potage du toad's leg? What do you say? Toad legs. Yuck! No, no, no. Think of poor Aunt Bessie slaying in the kitchen all day. What do you say? No, thank you, Aunt Betsy. It looks too pretty to eat. <laughs> so if you don't want something someone is trying to offer you, you can say no, thank you. Good. Aunt Betsy hopes you'll like the next course better. What is it? Biscuit de giraffe snake. My mother cooks better, but you don't tell Aunt Betsy that, and I can't say yuck yuck. Yuck is a yucky manners, but it's okay in private when you're by yourself, unless it hurts somebody's feeling. Okay, so when you see something yucky and you don't want to eat, keep the word yucky inside your head. <laughs> don't say the word yucky. Just say no, thank you. You are interrupting again. Leon, what does it mean to interrupt? Looking at this picture, you notice that mommy is talking on the phone, and this little boy keep pulling the telephone and the string. Stop! That's called interrupting. If mommy is talking on the phone on her cell phone, you wait until she finishes, and then you can talk to her. This person is working hard. Look, look! This little boy is interrupting. Leon is interrupting her while she's trying to study. Leon's dad is reading newspaper, and he's interrupting. Listen, listen, listen! Mom and a friend. They are talking. Leon is interrupting again. Now, now, now! Wait, Leon. You are not the only one around. How do you say, "I'm sorry"? When you accidentally hurt someone, you can. Do you say, "Move over, slowpoke"? No, don't call. Oh, wait, Steve. Ow. You have no manners. I'm in a hurry. That's no excuse. So you fell. You push me. What am I supposed to do? You could say you're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I pushed you. I'm sorry you fell. And then the little girl said, "I'm sorry." Makes it better. Your friend is calling. See you. Come on, Greg. I'm sorry. It's good manners. It feels good too. Manners lesson number two. They are building a sandcastle. Here is a beautiful sandcastle. It took you all morning to build it. I worked hard. Wow! It's great. Just then, someone comes along and jumps on it. Oh no! Hey, stop! What do you say? I say I'll hit you. No, don't say that. You horrible brat! Don't say that. But you can't treat bad manners with bad manners. I say, you build a castle so I can jump on it, and you'll see how it feels. Something tells me manners are about feelings. So this little boy jumps on the sandcastle when they work really, really hard in building it. What should you do if you were one of the person that did build the sandcastle? You can tell him that's not nice to jump on it. The grabber. Uh oh. Bad manners. Grabbers. I want it. I had it first. Now nobody has it. 
It's not what you do; it's the way that you do it. Now that it's broken, what are they going to do? Because they were grabbing it, right? The grabber. Manners lesson number three: too loud is too loud. They are listening to music. The TV is on very, very loud. The radio and the music—it's very loud. And he's playing drums. Hello, neighbor. Sorry to bother you, but you are bothering. Would you please turn down your noise? Someone else's noise could drive you crazy. So when a neighbor is being too loud, you can tell them, "Please turn down your noise." Look at Daniel. Uh oh. Is he using his manner? He put his finger in his nose. He's put he put his finger in his ear. And scratch his head. Runny nose. He sneezed, and his runny nose is all over his sleeves. He put his hand in his mouth. He coughed by not covering his mouth. He sneezed, ah, chew, without covering his mouth. He rubbed his eye. Don't you wish you didn't have to? Here's a hanky pank. Hanky, here's a hanky Daniel. So, Daniel should get a tissue and clean his nose instead of using his finger. He should grab some tissue and blow into the tissue and then throw it away. That's why I said, "Here's a hanky." It means here's a handkerchief. How Anthony almost ruined Diana's party. Anthony never says hello. He has no manners. He embarrasses. He makes fun. He's a bad sport. He cheats. He bites. He calls people names. He grabs. He tattles. He throws food. He's rude. He didn't even say goodbye. Nobody missed him. He almost ruined my party, but he didn't. Please, all is well at the end. I like how the little children at the end says, "Bye, Diana. Thank you. It was great. Happy birthday. Bye. Thanks for coming." Gossip and whispers. Nobody's perfect. Personal remarks hurt. They are like making fun. Like you wear glasses, sh- shorty. Uh oh, calling someone's name. They're not using your manner, right? Or your hair is awfully straight, skinny. Calling someone name. Not, not okay. People who do that have bad manners. Besides, nobody's perfect. Hi, Freddie. Hello, Fred. Hi. Being friendly, using your good manners. We were just saying personal remarks hurt. Stare hurt too. If you're staring at someone for a very long time, that's not using your manners. People should treat me like everybody else. So when you see someone in a wheelchair, or、um, you don't stare at them, use good manners. Don't stare. Ouch! Here comes Alexa. Let's ignore her. Uh oh. There's Alexa, and they're ignoring her. Bad manners and bad feelings. Is Alexa going to go home and cry? Maybe. So when you ignore a friend or ignore someone in your classroom, that's not using your manners. Manners lesson number four. When you're at the table, I'll be the goody. I'll be the baddie. So this 
little boy is going to be the bad person in the in this play. She's going to be the good one who uses her manner. Slurp, slurp, slurp when you're drinking your soup very, very loud. She drink quietly. Gulp, 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 gulp. Eating very fast. That's not using your manner at the table. You use your fork and your knife and your spoon. Eat properly. Chomping, putting, shoving everything in your mouth. That's not using good manners. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Nom, 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 nom. Eating way too loud. Or smack. Smacking during um, while you're eating at the table. That's not using your good manners. What lovely berries! They slurp, sure. Eating way too loud. <laughs> Then she said, "You're overdoing it." He's licking the bowl. That's funny. That's not what you should do, right? Manners lesson number five. Telephone talk. Let's pretend that you're on the phone with someone, and you say, "Hello, hello." May I please speak to George? He says, "You have the just a moment, please." Ha <laughs> ha. Hello, this is George. Ha <laughs> ha. Hello, George. This is Granny. Hi, Granny. What do you want? Is that polite? You don't say, "What do you want?" It's nice to hear your voice, Granny. This is using your good manners. Use your good manners. Thank you, dear. I phoned to hear how school was today. It was great. I made a picture for you. Oh, how lovely! I can't wait to see it. How was your day, Granny? Fine, thank you. See you tomorrow. Thanks for phoning, Granny. Say hi to Grandpa. Thank you, dear. Goodbye. Goodbye, Granny. So that's how you say goodbye. To your grandma or your grandpa.